So, Kelly, I'm really glad you're here because I've been reading about this for a long time now, and I have had a difficult time understanding it. Right now, your kids are in New York with you, but then they'll be heading back to France fairly soon. Yes. I can't imagine how difficult these last few years have been for you. It's been uh, like one of those movies that you see that you think, how is this possible? This couldn't possibly be true. It couldn't possibly be happening. Um, and you're just trying to get your, your bearings and grounding and try to understand it, really. I know it's joint custody yes. between you and your ex-husband. Yes. He lives in France. You live here in New York. Yes. And uh, you're able to see the kids for, for the summer, correct? Mm -hmm. And you can see them sort of whenever you're able to get to France or they can visit you yes. at different occasions? Yes. Yeah, so the, the burden's basically been put on me to go and see my children. I've had to fly 40 times to go see them. Um, I stay in a hotel. I see them. It's like a weird situation. You know, they're in a foreign school, um, sort of taken away from their friends and their family and everything they've known. A judge in California made this decision. Why do you think she she decided this. I'm not sure why they're in France. It makes no sense when I offered to fly them there every holiday and all summer to see him. I said, look, if, if he can't, you know, give him time to figure it out so that he can come back um, or to understand, you know, I don't even have any information about why he was kicked out of the country or, or he can't get back in. So why take the kids out of school, pull them out of school a month early, send them to Europe, and while he's working out a situation, and meanwhile put the burden on me to fly to see my kids when I was the primary parent, and he was seeing them all the time here anyway. Can you shed any light on this? Because it does seem very strange, and, and I think a lot of people are trying to understand why the judge decided as she did. As we all are, to be honest with you, when you are talking about custody, you're talking about what's in the best interest of the children. Yeah. And there is nothing with this decision that shows that this, that this judge was even considering the children's best interest. They had lived in New York predominantly their entire lives. They had lived with their mother their entire lives, gone to school here, been educated here, have their friends here, their support system here. And suddenly, you know, a visitation results in an uprooting of them and a relocation to France. So there is no explanation.